One of the hallmarks of cancer is the ability of a, a growing tumor mass to induce angiogenesis. It's critical to the life cycle of the tumor. Um, the uh, cancer cells, uh, when they get stressed by hypoxia um, or other oxidative stress, uh, begin to secrete proangiogenic ligands that stimulate endothelial cells in their supporting structure to begin the process of neoangiogenesis or, or blood vessels growing into the cancer uh, to supply them with the oxygen and nutrients that they need. So this me mechanism is critical to tumor survival. Uh, the proangiogenic factor, the dominant one is vascular endothelial growth factor or so-called VEGF, but there are other proangiogenic uh, growth factors that are known. Um, this induces, again, genetically stable and genetically normal endothelial cells to begin the process of um, angiogenesis, which is, in this case, a very um, uh, dysregulated or primitive uh, angiogenic uh, strategy uh, relative to normal uh, anti-angiogenesis. We know that angiogenesis uh, is critical to maintaining self. If we have a wound um, or an incision uh, for, you know, in surgery, we need to cure that and we need to heal. And so angiogenesis is part of our normal makeup and we have a number of balances for angiogenesis. But with regard to the cancer, what the cancer is interested in is getting oxygen and nutrients. So it has this mechanism. And understanding this has really created a number of therapeutic targets that we've manipulated uh, for the advantage of our patients. So in tumor-induced angiogenesis, the uh, blood vessels tend to be very torturous. Uh, they don't have the most competent supporting structure, so we um, refer to them as leaky vessels, or there's a great deal of um, permeability of these sorts of vessels. In fact, vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, uh, was initially named vascular permeability factor, so you can understand where that comes from. Um, uh, obviously, angiogenesis is also key to the metastatic uh, pathway that cancers use to gain access to the vascular uh, system to metastasize. Uh, obviously, as an oncologist, we're mostly dealing with the impact of metastatic disease. Uh, and, and again, this process of angiogenesis is, uh, it is important. Uh, inhibition of angiogenesis allows tumor vasculature uh, to normalize somewhat. It tends to decrease vascular pressure in tumors. It allows, theoretically, chemotherapy to have better access to uh, tumors. Um, radiotherapy works through oxygen radicals, so the ability to relieve hypoxia in that way would be an advantage for radiotherapy. Um, and so the, it's a very complicated but critical aspect of uh, tumor biology.